was a girl who looks like one of Carmen's friends, but Carmen doesn't have any friends. <laughs> Hi, can I help Hi. you? Yes, I'm Stephanie from La Marie Cosmetics. I'm here to train Angie Lopez. I'm Angie. Come on in. Excuse me for asking, but uh, how old are you? I'm 42, but I've been using La Marie Rejuvenating Cream for like the last 20 years. <laughs> You're already selling. <laughs> Come on, why don't we go to the kitchen where it's quieter? Hmm? Mm. All right, why don't we just jump right in here and you can try your sales pitch out on me. Okay. Um... Well, Stephanie, thank you for coming to my La Marie party. I know you're not looking for bananas, because we don't sell bananas. <laughs> you must be looking for makeup. So, what can I do you for? <laughs> okay, you suck. <laughs> Let's just talk about the products one by one. Okay. You know what? I noticed that you have the most beautiful eyes. <laughs> Thank you. If we could just do something about those crow's feet and those worry lines. <laughs> crow's feet and worry lines? All right, see what I did there? It's called a give and take. I give you a compliment, and then I take it away by pointing out a flaw. When women feel insecure, they're more likely to buy. That's not in the manual. <laughs> Next Thursday is your very first makeup party. Here at the house, okay? Now let me just run to the car and get some of the new products that we're pushing. Okay. Oh, George, this is my Lummery supervisor. Stephanie, this is my husband, George. Hi, George. Hi. I can tell you're a very hardworking man by the bags underneath your eyes. <laughs> you should try our Lummery Cucumber Man Mask. You know, thanks, but I'm married. I don't give a crap how I look. <laughs> And I think this Lummery concealer would match your skin tone perfectly. <laughs> I don't usually wear concealer. Oh. You know, I just noticed you have such great bone structure. It almost draws the attention away from that sun damage on your cheeks. <laughs> uh, I have sun damage? I... How many people are going to be this close to you? Oh, I'd like to have a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Angie. I kind of have to be someplace. I just wanted to look at lipsticks. Oh, great! A nice dark red will really pull the men's eyes up from all that loose skin under your chin. <laughs> you notice that? I lost 150 pounds, but I can't do anything about this loose skin. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Look, I'm just making things up because my daughter had to leave public school because the girls were calling her a whore. <laughs> so we had to put her in an expensive private school, and that's why I took this job. So you guys don't have to buy anything if you don't want. We all have loose skin. Look, I swallowed a pencil. <laughs> I didn't know about your daughter. I'll take some lipstick. <laughs> God, Angie. Why didn't you just say you needed the money? I'll take two emergency kits. My sister's a dog. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Why don't you guys check out the rest of my inventory in the kitchen, huh? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Your sympathy means so much to me. <laughs> and you, Missy, I am not going to prey on women's insecurities just to make a buck. I'm going to use pity. It works for me. Well, you know, that's not going to work on everyone. But it has to. If I can't pay back the loan, we're going to have to take my daughter out of private school. And we're going to have to give up the special tutors for my dyslexic son. And we could still lose the car, even the house, everything. Uh, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I had no idea that... You're lying. Am I? <laughs> or am I just that pathetic? <laughs>